Welcome to Python with Andrew, where we're going to continue on our journey in investigating reading and writing files. Uh, we've looked at all sorts of examples, reading text, reading comma separated, reading Excel files. Um, and I want to move to another useful example of reading and writing the file. And it also sets us up later for doing a lot more complex uh, applications. And that's reading and writing a dictionary. I'm going to use uh, JSON, or JavaScript object notation. I'll talk a little bit about that. And this sort of file input and output is perfect for configuration information. It's also perfect for um, getting structure that we can modify as we develop our program, version one, version two, et cetera. So it's not very, very structured. And hence, it leads in really well when we start talking about unstructured databases like NoSQL databases like MongoDB, which are fascinating data structures to use uh, and sets us up to build very powerful programs very simply, um, both multi-user, but also in real time, which is great. So let's uh, pop over and have a look at a brief example uh, of this. I'm going to do a simple example, and then uh, in later videos, I'm going to do some applications where we'll, we'll modify a player's detail or um, up, update information and configuration information. But at this stage, the I'm not going to spend too much time talking about the uh, JSON format, um, other than it's very, very similar to the dictionary format from Python. Now, it does come from the JavaScript uh, environment, so the terminology is a bit different. But for learning Python and using this, we can think of it as reading and writing dictionaries in, the, in its basic form. Most of the data structures we want to write out, uh, we can write out. And not only will it be nice and readable-ish in the uh, data format, but it's extremely easy to read in and read out into our data structure. So I'm going to create two um, functions like I've been doing a lot. One's going to load in. I'm going to call it load configuration um, so I can use it as a sort of way of operating configuration files. So I'm going to do load config. And this is going to take a file. Don't forget the colon. Load one configuration. This is only going to take one configuration uh, record. Could have done one that does many, but this is um, all we're going to do. And we're going to call um, the JSON module and we're going to call load and then open the file. So you can see I'm starting to do things all in one go, <coughs> just to make it a bit easier. And in fact, that's going to return a dictionary. So I'm just going to return that straight away. Um, so you can see I could have done that in three steps. Open a file, assign it to a variable, load the file in JSON, assign it to another variable, and then return it. But I'm going to make this short and sweet and just return everything. And this will return, um, so I'm going to put here, returns a dictionary. dictionary. And now I'm going to do a define save config configuration. And this one's going to take a file again. And this time it's going to take a dictionary. Right? And it shouldn't matter what the dictionary is. Uh, save one. Okay. And again, this one's using a JSON method called dump, which takes a object, which in our case is a dictionary. And again, it takes a file, but we're going to open the file again. The writing. Okay, so nice, short, sweet, two line. Um, Functions, some people often ask, why would you bother with a function? 
I just think it's good practice to have, continually have these short, sharp functions. It makes it a lot easier to um, uh, read and a lot easier to document and a lot, lot easier to test. Because now I'm going to test. Um, first of all, I'm going to save a configuration because I haven't got a file yet. So I'm going to create a um, configuration or a, a dictionary. And this one, I'm just going to have, imagine this is a, um, a player in a game of some sort. And we've only got um, Uh, we've got a simple configuration. It's got a name and whatever level I'm up to. Okay, so let's assume that we've created the account, um, Andrew, and he's played for a while and now it's level three. Wants to exit the game, we need to save that um, configuration because he's going to come back tomorrow and play a game. So in this case, I'm going to save it to player1.text. And I'm going to, in the dictionary, I'm going to set player one. All right. Notice that my file doesn't care what uh, player one the configuration is. We can modify that. And we will when we do a more complex example. Um, so let's see if I can run that. Let's see if I get, uh, get through without any errors. Yeah, as you can see, no errors. And now if I go across and look at the file, um, player one.txt. Um, will quite simply have uh, my dictionary. Okay, nothing fancy about that. Now with Python, uh, sorry, with the this module, we can make it look a little bit prettier. Uh, we can change this to uh, add a parameter which is uh, indent equals four, and that adds a bit of parameter when we're writing it out, just so it's a bit readable for us to to use. So let me again run this. Program doesn't do any output, but now if I go to my player one uh, file, you can see that it's a little bit prettier uh, printing. Uh, and I've got that very, very simply. All right. And uh, that's quite useful. And so I, I've I can do other tests on that. Now I'm not testing for file existing and issues to do with file IO. That's another uh, module, another day. I'm focusing in on this particular one. And now let's assume that we come back the next day and we want to load the configuration and uh, we want to load it from player one. Text. And I want to call that uh, player one. All right. And I'm just going to print it out here. Now I don't have to do this particular part of my program anymore because I've already done that. I saved it, uh, so I'm just going to comment that out because I'm just focusing in on loading the, the uh, player information and just printing it out for our benefit to see that uh, it does work. So let's, um, and you can see I've printed on the screen there. Again, nothing uh, fancy about that, just a simple printout. There are ways of, of printing it better than that, but that's not the purpose. Uh, of this. Um, <coughs> so a nice, easy way of reading and writing dictionaries. I'm going to do a few examples where it shows that we can add to this dictionary as we go along. So let's assume this player is playing a game, and as they go along, we're going to attach more attributes. But we still want to save that information as we go along. You'll see how simple it is. In fact, I won't even have to change some of my uh, uh, functions, which is really quite nice. So we'll see that in the uh, another video. But th that's a good introduction to uh, Jason. I'd recommend uh, practicing with that, uh, having a look at some of the methods associated with that. Try to see what the printing, whether you can do some better printing than I've done, um, just to get uh, familiar with that. But an incredibly powerful, um, simple, but powerful, and you'll see we're going to use it over and over again, especially when we start talking about linking with databases later on. Thanks again, and uh, if you're enjoying it, please subscribe. Uh, I really appreciate that, and have a great day.